Hello everyone! Hi! So, looks like I'm vlogging. Who would have thought? Um, <laughs> so it's officially the first week back at university. So after the semester break, the second semester has started. And I thought I would take you along my week and show you a little bit how I'm preparing for my classes. Mm, give you my first impressions of the classes and just take you along what I'm doing throughout the week. So today I actually don't have to go to uni yet so I'm just gonna do some things to prepare. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook and bake a little bit. Um, as many of you know I have quite a long commute to Vienna so on the days that I have to go to uni I usually bring a lot of food <laughs> because I'm out all day and I think I'm just gonna make some granola and like a cabbage red cabbage salad that can be eaten warm or cold so um, just having a huge batch of those two things in the fridge is gonna be yeah it's gonna make my life a lot easier throughout the week so that's what I'm gonna do first and after that I have to go out and get some things like a folder and some some paper because <laughs> look my filming plan for this week is literally written on the envelope of the last pack of white paper I got so I really need to get some new one and then I'm gonna probably still study some French and do some other things tonight but let's first get cooking mm -hmm. Let's go out and get some things. Oh, my lips are purple from the cabbage. So I'm matching it with a shirt. And uh, let's go outside. what I got. Paper, some ink for my fountain pen and a big folder for the new semester. So I'm gonna collect everything that I print out in here. I hope it's enough room. I think so. I'm gonna put one of those in and then I'm gonna um, separate it by the courses I have. So now I... I have two hours and I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of scripting for YouTube um, and then I'm gonna still learn some French. I actually had my first French lesson already on Friday, um, it's the only one I already had and we're gonna do a lot around autobiographies. So. French autobiographies, so Simone de Beauvoir, Jean-Paul Sartre, and so on. And we have started with Simone de Beauvoir's autobiography. <laughs> and as you can tell by my messy notes, um, there were many words I didn't understand yet. So I think I'm gonna just, well, I already have put it in a little bit more of a better um, vocabulary chart, and I'm gonna finish doing that. So I'm going to do French and I'm going to do scripting, I think like 45 minutes each. And then uh, tonight I'm going to a COP meeting. It's like a personal development group that I've been part of for many years at this point. Uh, it's really nice. There's always one person who is hosting the evening and um, who's 
preparing some kind of subject or a book they've read or an exercise we're doing and then also we do some personal sharing and we always have food together and it's it's so lovely like those people have become some of my best friends and yeah i'm gonna be picked up at like quarter to seven so i'm gonna get going try to get some things done and um, then i'll go there okay <laughs> Ce que m'écrisa lorsque je rentrai à Paris en septembre 1929, ce fut d'abord ma liberté. J'y avais rêvé dès l'enfance, quand j'ai joué avec ma sœur à la grande jeune fille. Étudiante, j'ai dit avec quelle passion je l'appelais. Soudain, je l'avais. Okay, hello everyone. It's Tuesday and my sole goal for the rest of this morning slash noon is to film a YouTube video. So I usually film on Fridays and um, I realized that now I have a course on Friday so I'm not gonna be able to have that much time so I should probably move my filming day to Tuesday. At least that's what I'm trying out today. Mm. But I'm on a little bit of a time crunch, <laughs> but I'll do my best because I just got a message that my piano lesson is cancelled tonight. So I'm going to have time to go to a meetup I really wanted to go to um, with some study colleagues uh, that also study comparative literature. And as we've all sort of just started, we don't really know each other very well yet. So we're all gonna meet up in a cafe in Vienna. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a good time. And I'm pretty excited that I can participate. Me doing something social two days in a row, that's not usual. <laughs> so I'm gonna do what I can to get the space ready and get filming. It's I'm a little bit winging it with this video, but I really want one filmed just in case I don't get to filming anymore this week. I also really have to go to the hairdresser and have my bangs cut. They're unacceptably, unacceptably long. <laughs> working, is this working, is this working? Hello everyone, hi. Alright, I'm on my way to my first course, Literary Research. Let's see how it goes. I'm here with a friend, the infamous friend. <laughs> so which courses are you having? Um, so this semester I'm most excited about Russian. Russian for uh, literature 
and um, feminist literary theory and um, what else? Um, sociology of the novel, yeah. a social history yeah. of the novel, um, what else? I don't know, I think I'm excited about all kinds of courses <laughs> and um, just yeah. so it's just, such a nice environment yeah it's a, it's it's such a friendly environment and i'm excited to to start into the second semester just to like get back to reading regularly and um just having kind of this this daily routines and yeah seeing maria more often yeah, it's good <laughs> Okay. Hello. <laughs> it's uh, it's Thursday morning. I thought I would update you a little bit on the courses I had yesterday and everything that has been going on. Because I didn't film a lot anymore in the evening. I was just really tired. <laughs> I also don't know how interesting it is to film myself on the train five times. So because I also want to, of course, keep the privacy of the people I'm around and I can't film in class. There's just not that much to show. But I'll tell you now about the classes I had. I'm already noticing that it's a bit too much. I mean, I know that through many courses, there were just a lot that interested me this semester and I'm sort of taking a sneak peek into all of them to see which ones I want to continue. And uh, for a while I thought maybe I can do them all, but I can't, I know that I can't, so probably on the weekend, I'll have to sort of sit down with myself and be really honest about what it is I want to do this semester and I'll have to scratch some things. But it's so difficult. Um, I just feel like with every new thing I learn, I become aware of how little I know. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna go out of these studies in two and a half years. and and feel like I know things like now I just feel like I progressively know less and I'm just becoming aware of things I don't know so yeah it's it's a little bit difficult to say no to courses because I genuinely love it too you know my brain just <clears throat> adores sitting in a classroom and listening to someone talk about something they're passionate about and if it has to do with books and languages, even better. It's like going to the spa for my brain, but my body can't do it, right? I cannot follow like eight or 10 courses at the same time. Like I'm, I'm too tired. I'm already, yesterday I was out of the house for like 12 hours. <clears throat> Today I'm also gonna be home super late. So there are limits and I know that there are. I just, I haven't come to terms with it. So let's quickly talk about the the three courses I had yesterday. I'll give you my first impressions. Okay, so the first one I had was called Literary Research, <clears throat> and it's kind of building on a course I had last semester. Everyone who studies literature has to do it. Um, it's about how to write and research papers, basically. It sounds a little bit dry, but I think it's going to be fine i'll have to do some homeworks on well pretending like i'm writing a really important piece of work and then making a chronology for it and the bibliography so a list of books and articles i would use to research that we're also going to have to transcribe a letter from the 19th century or something yeah so i mean the cool thing about this is that i can choose sort of whatever subject i like I'm thinking about doing Thomas Mann translations into English because that's genuinely something I'm currently researching for for making videos about um, or to take like a Borges short story and cross compare it with some other author or something like that 
um, yeah, but we're just, we're going to get feedback on our writing and on our structuring and how we're finding a question to work on and blah, blah, blah. I thought it was so hilarious. There was this moment, I just, iconic. So someone asked the professor, which languages would you accept? Like, can we write it in English, right? So, or does it all have to be in German? And he said, I mean, I would appreciate you if you asked me up front if you want to do some kind of other language, because if it's not German, English, French, Italian or Spanish, I'm going to have to see what I can do. <laughs> and I just thought like, what, what a surrounding to be in, you know, I just love that. Um, okay, the next course I had, oh yeah, Norwegian, hey, um, that was exciting. Hey, jij hebt de Maria. Oh, jij snakker. Tysk, Engelsk, Frans, Nederlandsk. Olit, Nors, Norsk. Voor kom, voor kom er du fra? Uh, jij kom er fra Österrike. Um, welke spraak snakker du? <laughs> Just. Okay, so we learned some, some basics. It's really a course that starts at zero. And it's lovely. I have a really lovely teacher, she's from Oslo, and uh, I don't know why Norwegian people are always so beautiful, but she also, I mean, she just looks so gorgeous, just like, I don't know, that's apparently a thing. Um, anyways, we, we learned some basic verbs and some basic vocabularies and some sentences, we actually did a lot already, I mean, it was like three hours, and I already got some homework for today, because I've three hours again today <laughs> so um this is going to be a very intense course i do want to keep going um i just i still have to get my workbooks for that and they're like 120 euros uh, so anyways that was norwegian i'm gonna as i said i'll have to do some homework on the train because i'm having norwegian again today and then in the evening i listened to a lecture of um Thematology. I'm not sure how you would translate that to English, but it's a course that is happening at the same time as one of my other courses. So in theory, I cannot visit it, but it's recorded online. So I was listening to it on the train back home. And uh, I'm going to make like a dedicated video about which courses I ended up choosing and, and all of that. So if you're a little bit confused, uh, I'm also still confused and that video and that decision will be coming but uh, I guess you would say like thematology is like thematic studies in literature or content research it's basically about the the themes that literature speaks about and how these themes sort of come and go in popularity in waves I I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it. And then on my walk back home, I listened to a podcast by Karl Uwe Knausgaard and uh, interesting Norwegian author I'm looking forward to getting into. And it's funny to listen to a podcast in a language you don't speak because, I mean, I understand a few things and that's nice, but also it's just so lovely to appreciate the language just for how it sounds. And uh, it gets me really motivated and fired up to do my best with learning Norwegian. Yeah, and then in the evening I just took a bath and I cooked something and I went to bed. Oh, and I watched uh, Reed Red's new video on Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. That was nice, like that's the only thing I could do in the evening. I just wanted something comforting <laughs> to listen to. And uh, I can't believe how that, that reminded me so much of Borges. It, it just seemed like something he would write or he would love. So maybe for my research course, I could like compare the two or like pick a short story and, and overlap it and see if there's thematic similarities that would sort of perfectly melt a lot of the things I'm currently studying together. I don't know, let's see. Anyways, I'll have to get out of the house in, well, 15 minutes or something. 
and uh, yeah some other courses coming today i'll try to film a little bit and uh, i'll see you then okay let's go Okay, I'm actually on my way to a seminar where I'm not sure whether I'm gonna get in. I don't actually have a spot, so many people applied. Um, but sometimes when you go there in the first lesson, the professor says like, ah, yeah, it's fine. Like you two um, can still join. So I'm really hoping that. Uh, it's about psychiatric poetry. So poetry that has been written in a psychiatric institution here in Vienna, would just be so cool, so. Okay, I'm back home and um, there's really only one thing I still want to do today. I got some candles <laughs> and let me know if you can relate if you play piano. Isn't it the dream to have like a candle holder on your piano with actual candles and play it at night? I don't know. That's That's been like a fantasy for years at this point and uh, I found this amazing candle holder for like two euros in a second hand store and I thought, you know what, now's the time to do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean up my piano a bit and uh, put it up. Okay, I mean, it's very epic. It's just not very straight. <laughs> I think I have to put something under it in case it drips. I know the dish towel is <laughs> not really the right color. However, I cannot risk this dripping. So uh, yeah, let's light these pretties. I mean, it's epic. <laughs> I love it! I love it, love it! Okay, so now... Ooh, now I have to turn off all the other lights. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful! Ah, oh, that makes me so happy! <laughs> Come on! Nice! Okay. Okay, I unfortunately cannot put this phone in a way where you can see both the candles and me but you just have to believe me that, that they're there they're there <laughs> and uh, now the question is what, what do we play? I mean, I'm sort of feeling like you know, late night candlelight makes me, makes me feel a little bit dramatic so, so I'm inclined to, to, to play Bach or something <laughs>
you recognized all of these three songs by name, I'll send you a book. If you recognize all three songs, you can name them to me. Send me an email and, and I'll send you a book. I'll send you a nice, a nice book. I hope not many people do, but I think there might be a couple of people who, who are playing piano. There's so many musicians always in my comments. I feel like a lot of you all are making music. That's amazing. Um, yeah, okay, good night. Hello everyone, it's Friday. So let me catch you up a little bit on what happened yesterday. I didn't have so much time to sort of talk to a camera. So I didn't get into the seminar about psychiatric writing, psychi psychiatric poetry. Um, I was really sad about that. I'm honestly a little bit bummed out because I was there and I heard what they're gonna do this semester and well it just sounds amazing <laughs> yeah they would have focused on biographies and autobiographies of people who lived in that psychiatric institution and abuse and how a place like that can be a refuge but also a prison and uh, i don't know it sounded amazing but I didn't get in so it's fine um, that means I'm gonna have to do my seminar on postmodern writing and I had the first well lesson yesterday my plan once again <laughs> um, yeah and uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm not super excited about that seminar yet or anything it wasn't my first choice and uh, postmodern literature is not usually what I gravitate towards or even have read a lot about or of mm, but maybe that's good maybe that's good I mean the reading list is all books I don't know and it's all books that have been published relatively recently Mm, I'm gonna have to read and do a presentation on I hate fiction. Mm, I don't, I can remember the author right now, but yeah. I mean, what is nice about that seminar is that we're gonna talk a lot about uh, Thomas Bernhardt and uh, how he sort of represents the, um, well, the, the, the border between modernism and postmodernism and all the works on the reading list are in a way responses to Bernhard. So we're gonna sort of always cross compare it with uh, his writing and I haven't read a lot of uh, Bernhard so I'm, I'm pretty excited to learn some things and it's probably gonna be fine. I'm just, I'm not firing on all cylinders with that one yet or anything but let's see how it goes and then i had another norwegian lesson and man that is so enjoyable i just I'm, I'm so happy that i'm learning norwegian and that i have six hours a week of learning that language i feel like i can already say a lot of things um and and it's just it's easy it's easy to learn for me, which is just such a joy. I feel like I'm comparing everything to French because French was the first really difficult language I learned. I mean, the first after English that just didn't feel intuitive at all in the beginning. And it was such a pain to learn French. <laughs> it's like for every rule, there's 25 exceptions. There's so many irregular verbs self-reflexive verbs, it's it's difficult writing and pronunciation and blah 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 and uh, now every other language is just easy compared to French for me. I mean, you know, I'm not learning Chinese or Russian or anything but the thing is happening that I hope would happen which is that by virtue of the other language languages I know 
Norwegian is pretty simple for me to learn because vocabulary wise um, I see a lot of German and English words coming back maybe a little bit you know the words are a little bit changed but I can still guess them and pronunciation wise it's it's very Dutch to me so it's joy it's breeze it's it's nice so far i'm really confident that i'm gonna i'm gonna do well and uh yeah it's all it's all great um yeah and then in on the train i just listened to to a lecture um about the history of the novel basically and that is very exciting it's one of the lectures that i'm sort of loosely following i'm not sure whether i'm gonna take an exam in the end or anything but i just love the contents of it and uh, yeah so so far so good today i have already quickly been at the hairdresser to cut my bangs i mean they're a little bit smudged now but that is good and i also ordered those <laughs> hectically expensive Norwegian books. I mean, 120 euros. I never spend this much money on a book, mm, but I can write it off taxes, so I think it's fine. <laughs> but anyways, I hope they'll arrive soon. And then, and I also got some uh, dishwashing tabs that are still somehow here. I don't know why. My apartment is a little bit of a mess. Um, yeah, and now I'm basically out the door to go to my French lesson. So, uh, just before I printed everything, all the texts that we're gonna need, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, it's so inconvenient to go to Vienna on a Friday because I'm just going there for one French lesson and I'm out of the house for like seven hours, <laughs> but somehow it's still, totally worth it. I just, I love it too much. Um, I used to speak French really well and now I feel like it's a little bit like archaeology where I'm like, oh, what are these dead language pieces? Like, I know, I know they're there. I know I can speak the language. I just haven't practiced in a long time. So it's really exciting to feel it coming back. Um, I'm curious at which speed it's gonna come back, like when am I gonna feel really confident again? Yeah, and what I have to do for the rest of the day, other than go to my French lesson, is to edit this very video. Um, I'm a little bit... well, not scared, but let's see how long it takes. I would really like to get it done today, I don't think that's realistic. Mm, but I would like to, because tomorrow a friend is coming over and uh, i still want to clean up the place a little bit we're going to a vintage flea market i'm really looking forward to that and uh, and maybe to a theater there's like this one man theater in town about democracy <laughs> i don't know it sounds a little bit a little bit out there but we might go there so i hope i can wrap all of this up i'm I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that like the video quality for the past days has not been so great. I feel like it has just been me walking somewhere and um, I don't know. It's maybe a little bit all over the place. And the beginning of the week I did it also nicely with my camera. Now I'm just filming on my phone. <laughs> I feel a little bit um, all over the place, but I'm picking my battles. It's just the best I can do this week. Um, because this whole filming thing has sort of added um, a layer of complexity. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I'm just gonna say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'll still insert some clips of what I'm doing today. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. It feels very out of my comfort zone, but I appreciate you all so much for being there. I appreciate you all so much for always leaving such kind comments. It truly makes my day. It truly keeps me going. Um, it's, it's so motivating and it's so lovely to connect to all of you. So thank you a lot for that and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.